Okay. Hello my friends, William Poloniak here from Whole Health Foundation and in this video I'm going to highlight making juice using avocado pips which are full of nutrition. So we're going to start with greens and here I have collard greens from the garden and let's just get that started. Now it's very important to keep this covered every time you put produce in because it will shoot up to your ceiling and you can probably see it had an accident there already. So let's get started. Now it's a warm day here in California, so I'm going to put some ice cubes in to cool down the cutter because we're already above 23 centigrade. When you put ice cubes in, you go very slowly if you want the cold to transfer to here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this off so you can hear better. One very important thing when you put an avocado pit in, and the same goes for frozen bananas, you have to go very slowly because this is very dense and so is a frozen banana. So let's try an avocado bed. Very slowly. See the avocado pulp coming out. Keep this covered. some greens as well. And every now and then you pull up the lid, clean up on both sides. Now I want to point out something very important about cleaning this grid. You don't want to slice it and accidentally hit your fingers. You want to keep it erect and just scrape it. So scraping instead of slicing. Even though you have gloves on it would probably protect you, but instead of slicing, you want to keep your blade straight and just scrape it. And then replace it. The more often you clean your grid, the better it is on the machine. Cucumbers are coming in season in the garden, and I always have plenty of those. So we're going to juice up everything I found yesterday. Cucumbers are good for the hair and the nails. And down the motor, huh? It does tend to do that if you get too many greens going through. Yeah. Beet greens are very fibrous. Ginger is very fibrous. Most greens are, but beets and ginger especially. So let's do some more of these French sorrel greens. Okay, we're approaching 23 again, so some more ice cubes. I do at least 20% carrots. Wow. There's something in the carrots, the beta carotene, I think, which is an antioxidant, that prevents juice from going bad. So if you've got carrots mixed with your greens, it'll last up to 10 days. Wow. Greens only juice will only last a few days. Then with the carrots, got about 20% carrots in there. First thing I'm going to do is clean the grid holder and the grid. Put it on top, take the thermometer out, take off the feed cube. And what I love about this no-lock juicer 
is how easy it is to clean. Except for what I just did, it takes me under 30 seconds to clean this. And that's all there is to it. Now, the cutter you can take off if you have gloves on. If you don't, you should use a small towel to grasp it because it's sharp and you don't want to be cutting. But if you have rubber gloves on, which gives you good traction, you can pull that off. And with the bottle brush, you brush away from you. You don't want to be brushing and splashing your apron and yourself, so you brush away from you. Put the cutter on top. And next, we're going to clean the escutcheon on the back and mix the pulp. So, up on the left, down on the right, up on the left, down on the right. The reason for that is, as you go up on the left, you're untightening this. You don't want to tighten that and create another step in your process. So, if you don't have a spray nozzle, you'll have to use a uh, wet towel to clean that. I'm going to take a paper towel to dry this back here. Now most juicers, you need to put this back on for the juicer to work, but I've enabled my juicer to work with or without the P-tube on. And I can do that for any customer that buys a juicer from me. So I'm going to put it on just to get it out of the way. The cutter always goes on top with the hole down, and the grid holder goes back in with one grid. The reason you never leave the cutter on is you want airflow through here and you also want your motor shaft to be dry. Mm. So, there we have it. And in the next step, we're going to mix the pulp. And mixing the pulp, you're going to go around both ways. Clockwise first. Can't wait to taste this juice. <laughs> it looks so good. And then counterclockwise, it's going to give you a really good mix of greens and carrots. Yeah. You can tell visually when it's properly done, but I found going in both directions for some reason. I suppose if I was a physicist, I could explain why that <laughs> is, but since I'm just an ordinary guy, I just do what works. So let's go clockwise one more time. Mix all those greens and the carrots. I just took six cloths out of the freezer, and what I'm going to do on the edge of the counter is crack them so they're easier to take apart. And this is very, very strong cloth. You do not need to worry about damaging your material. I have some cloths over 30 years old, still wow. good. So you peel them apart, and I've got six cloths here, and I'm going to show you my six cloth method. My six cloth method saves time. And I've cut my time from two and a half hours down to under an hour and a half <laughs> using this method. Two large spoonsfuls or three medium spoons. And you fold this into thirds just like it came packaged. Put a little crease at the back to make a fold in front and pull it into a tight little package and set it aside. Now I like to juice two cloths full at a time because you get better pressure and more juice. You can do one cloth if you're doing a small serving, but I rarely do small servings <laughs> except for apple juice, pineapple juice, that kind of thing. Goes on top. Now this is why I like the 270 model, the 275 and the 265, even the lower models. There's one quarter inch more space here than on the new 280 model, and it's already difficult to get it in there the way I stuck the, pit, the cloths. So all the way back, back it off a little bit. I'm going to throw my spent pulp away, and that's going to go in the garden for compost. Again, two cloths full, or two, um, two spoons full in each cloth. a little bit. Flatten it down. And the last cloth. Dance it all the way when I'm on my last cloth. Let 
it down. Now this goes forward, this slides over, and your spec clock goes on top here to start the cycle again. And this is going to save you so much time. And again, you can see why the extra quarter inch here on the older models is yeah. important. Of course, you could put less pulp in the clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and spend more time in the kitchen. <laughs> Whoever was the engineer on the new 280 model wasn't thinking the way I think. <laughs> so, and my friends, I hope you like what you heard. I hope you like what you see in my videos. If you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My webpage is wholehealthbound.com. And my email address is developtrust at cox.net. Remember, tell a friend, and I'll see you in the next video.